Hey, it's Michelle from Michelle Kirsch Creative, and today I wanted to do a quick demo of my Hot Chocolate Procreate stamp set. So I'm just starting with a square canvas in Procreate. You can use any size that you want to create. And then I'm going to open up my um, Hot Chocolate brush set from the brush library and go down and choose a mug shape to start with. So I'm just resizing that mug and stamping it right into the middle of my canvas. And then we can add some embellishments to this. So I'm doing that on a new layer so that it can easily be moved around. And I'll start with some whipped cream, stamping that onto the canvas as well. And because it's on a separate layer, it's easy to move it around and resize a little bit if need be. And then so that I don't see the mug through the whipped cream, I'm going to go select a cream color from the hot chocolate palette and drag that into the whipped cream. Next, I'm going to recolor my mug. So I'm just going down to select that layer. And just a quick tip, if you're using one of the color palettes throughout your whole design, you can click default and that will keep that palette selected so that every time you open your palettes, it will be right there for you. So I'm just dragging a pink color onto the mug and then I'm going to choose a brown color for the hot chocolate that's just peeking through underneath. And now we can add um, a little bit of embellishment to the mug. So I'm just choosing the heart, putting that on a new layer again so that I can adjust it. And that makes it easy to center it or resize it. And then I'm just choosing another pink color and dragging that right onto the heart. Now I'm creating a new layer above everything else to add some sprinkles. So I've selected a dark chocolate color, resized my sprinkles a little bit, and I'm just dragging my brush around on top of the whipped cream to create those. And finally, I'm going to select um, one more stamp, the cherry, and I will stamp that right on top of the whipped cream on a new layer again so that I can easily move it around and then I'm just going to fill that with a red color. So there's that um, example all finished. And you can get as creative with these as you like or as simple as you like. So let's do one more example. Mm. I'll just open up mm. another blank canvas and let's go down and select another mug. And I'll do the same process but as before. I've got just a black color selected. I'm choosing a mug resizing slightly and stamping it right into the center of my canvas. Now for this one, let's do something a little bit different and use the um, marshmallow stamp. So I have two, an outline and a fill. You can fill the marshmallows by dragging color into them, um, but the stamp fill just makes it a little bit quicker if you want to do that. Now you can just put this anywhere on the mug, but I want it to kind of look like it's the marshmallows are just popping up under the rim. Um, so I've moved it down slightly and then I'm going to show you how to make it look like those are inside of the mug just peeking out. So here I'm just using the um, color fill for the marshmallows with white and I'm stamping that on a layer below. That way again I can just match um, that up exactly. And because it's white, it's hard to see. I actually went down to the mug layer and chose a hot chocolate color and dragged that into the mug so that it's easier to see where that fill is. And now I can just make any little adjustments to make sure that the fill matches up with the outline perfectly. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So I'm going to, um, when I'm happy with that, I'm going to go back into the layers and I'm going to merge those two layers together. So I've just gone to the top outline layer and I'm going to click merge down on that. You could also pinch the two layers together. Now what I'm doing here is reducing the opacity so I can see the line underneath where the mug is. And I'm just selecting my eraser, making it fairly small so that I can work um, 
in a detailed way and I'm just erasing anywhere that overlaps onto the mug. And that way it'll look like the marshmallows are peeking out from behind the rim of the mug. And there's other ways that you can do this, of course, as well. I just find that this is kind of the quickest and easiest way to do it um, for this type of um, drawing. And now that that's done, I can go back and bring the opacity back up. And you can see that those marshmallows look like they're just tucked in to that mug and floating there. So now let's add a little bit of color to the mug. So I've gone down to that layer, just selecting a color from the hot chocolate palette and dragging it down onto the mug. And you can decorate your mug any way you want, of course. I've just provided a few options in this stamp set. So um, I have hearts, snowflakes, all sorts of things like that. For this one, I've also included um, a little bit of text, so a little text stamp, so we're going to use that one. And um, I'm just going to select a black color for that just so that it stands out on the blue. And oops, I'm going to put that on a new layer as well so that I can move it around and resize if necessary. And finally, let's add um, just a little bit of steam. So I'm going to go down and select one of those and just resize and stamp that onto the canvas as well. Now that I've got all of those finished, I'm going to select all those layers and group them and that way I can just adjust that image on my canvas if I need to. And there we go. There's a second um, little hot chocolate mug all finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next time.